What is up, butter peeps? And we'll be here to try and explain the zone diet as simple as possible. I'm not going to get into detail about grams and crazy numbers and stuff. Just really simple how zone works and what you need to do to do it. Before we even get into zone, let's talk a little bit about why we need it. So in CrossFit, we measure our fitness so we can see how much we're improving. We can see how much stronger we're getting and whether that be in time, how much weight we lifted, how many rounds we did, whatever. We're keeping track. That way we have a baseline to see our improvement. Same way in our nutrition. We need to keep track of what we're eating to know what we need to tweak, where we're lacking. If we just eat whatever we want all the time and we're not losing any weight or making any change the way we want to, having that baseline makes it easy to adjust and know where we need to change our diet. We need to start thinking of food in three different categories. There's going to be protein, carbs, fat. Protein. If it walked at one point in its life, or if it swam in the ocean, it's probably a protein. Things like chicken, beef, fish, pork, eggs, deer, pandas, kangaroo meat, other humans, that's disgusting. Carbs. If it grew on a plant, or it's not a fat or a protein, it's probably a carb, which is pretty much everything. Fats. Things like nuts. Good oils like coconut oil, almond butter, butter, pinnick butter, avocados. And so every time you stuff your face with anything that is food, it is one of those three things. So how does zone work? So every time we eat, we need to be consuming protein, carbs, and fat in a certain ratio. Zone explains what that ratio is using blocks. A pretty simple concept. A certain portion of protein equals one block of protein. Same with carbs, same with fat. The part where people get a little bit confused, maybe the brains start to explode, <coughs> is because we say a three block meal, we mean three blocks of protein, three blocks of carbs, and three blocks of fat. Dude, that's like nine blocks. We just say three block meal for short to mean three of each thing. Am I losing you? Okay, so we need to know how many blocks we need in a full day, and then we're gonna divvy that up to our meals and snacks. So for this example, we're gonna pretend like I only go to the gym three times a week. We won't pretend that I weigh 185, because I do, and we are going to pretend that I'm trying to lose body fat. So we'll say for me, 14 blocks a day. Dude, I'm gonna starve. Jeremy can correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe he eats between 14 and 16 blocks a day, and he works out more in one day than you probably ever will in your life. So. Okay, so if I have 14 blocks total for the day, I'll have three blocks for breakfast, another two for a snack after that, I'll have another three block lunch, another two snack after that, three block dinner, and then maybe a one block snack before I go to bed. And that's my 14 blocks. So what does that mean exactly? When we say a three block meal, remember every time we eat we want to have the protein, carbs, and the fat. Every time. Every time. Even if it's a snack or if it's a meal. Always protein, carbs, and fat. Together. Same time. Always. Together. All three. So I'm not going to go into all the different examples of protein, carbs, and fat. If you are a member of CrossFit Kinnick, you should have gotten a packet during on-ramp or fast track. And if you didn't, totally threw that away. If you don't have it anymore, don't worry. Ask a trainer. We can get you another one. Or there will be a link somewhere around this video somewhere, which will give you a ton of examples of each category, tell you what good carbs are, bad carbs, etc., etc. It's a great list. Post it on your fridge. Tattoo it on your chest. But just as a quick example, back to breakfast. So we have three blocks for breakfast. That means we're going to have three blocks of protein, three blocks of carbs, and three blocks of fat. So for my protein, I might do three eggs. For my carbs, I might do some fruit for one or two blocks, and maybe a bell pepper with my eggs for the third block. For my fat, I like to have avocado with my eggs, and the chart will tell you how much avocado for your three blocks. Boom! Breakfast is done. Then you would just continue that for the rest of the day with your lunch, your snacks, and your dinner. The goal being to eat every three to four hours. The most important part is to have all three at the same time, protein, carbs, and fat together. Together. So I was thinking for lunch I would have all carbs. What if I save all my carb blocks for a huge cake at night? Oh, I'm sorry, is this the bank diet? No, it's the zone. The good part about zone is that you can do it pretty much anywhere with any food because everything is either a protein, a carb, or a fat. That means you can still go out and eat and have a social life. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to join you tonight. I'm like totally in the zone. Ideally, you want to avoid simple sugars like breads, pastas, giant bowls of pure sugar, a caramel mocha frappuccino with chocolate whipped cream, sugar sprinkles, and can you leave some room for some sugar on top? Maybe a side of sugar? But in a pinch, bread or tortillas can be used in zone as long as you count them right for your carb blocks. And that's where paleo comes in, dealing more with what kind of foods you eat rather than portions and ratios. But what does it all mean? Breathe. 
It might sound confusing, it might sound restrictive, but it gets easier. But if you want to see change, you'll have to make some adjustments. You'll start to learn what counts for each block. Remember to use your chart. As you start to learn recipes, you'll keep things interesting. I promise it gets easier. You can do this. You probably have questions. That's okay. Ask me or any of the other trainers at the gym, and we'll be glad to help you. I'm M-O-B. Happy zoning.